So my name is Professor Anita Leibowitz. I work for the Communications Department here at Suffolk County Community College as a, an assistant professor of COM 101. And I uh, am a career journalist before I started a second career here at the college. So I've been a newspaper reporter, editor, public relations officer, director of school districts uh, for close to 40 years. So while I'm not actually a re current reporter, I am now teaching journalism through the uh, staff at the paper. We definitely cover a lot of events, not only school events, but academic events such as Finish Strong that happens at the end of every single semester. And we also interview some academic chairs. Uh, one time we've interviewed the president and previous issues, a lot of important people and influential students on campus. Uh, reading the paper is important because that's just another way you can get involved on campus and learn about what is going on. Uh, like I said, it's a community college, so it's hard to find out about different events. And then when you have the newspaper, when you read it, you kind of belong to the community and you get to learn about your fellow colleagues and professors and it's just another great way to get involved. But also it's kind of has a special connection to campus, um, to campus life in particular. and. Um, yeah, it gives you that special connection to other students, it lets you know what other students are doing, and it um, lets you know their opinions and how they feel about different things happening or on campus and around the world. We're a little business here. We start with assigning assignments, then it, the process is the assignment, deadline, editors then get to proof it. Uh, quite often they like to get my input on it. If they do, they, they involve me. Then it goes to, then they have to do the layout. That's a big process, figure, fitting everything in. Then it goes to our graphic designers. We build careers here at the school newspaper. We have changed lives of students, as I'm told. Everything they do here builds a career it builds a resume, it builds experience, it builds portfolios. We have a young lady, Amanda, who was the editor three years ago, for two and a half years, who came to Suffolk to be a librarian. She came back to school, she was a returning student in her 20s. And she was walking around activities day and she just decided to sign up for uh, the paper because she had decent writing skills. She ended up becoming editor-in-chief. She graduated last May from NYU Tisch School of the Arts with a screenwriting degree and has credited her experience here to changing the course of her life. Victoria is graduating from St. John's University in public relations. She was the editor two years ago. Kayla just started at Stony Brook. University School of Journalism. I didn't know if I wanted to do journalism at first. Uh, I knew I liked writing and I loved reading the newspaper so I figured I'd get involved. I mean it doesn't hurt to try and it's always a good idea to just do something new and even if you don't feel 100% comfortable comfortable with it just do something out of your out of your uh, comfort zone. I feel like they help by not only offering the journalism courses, but by having two newspapers, one for Ammerman and one for Grand Campus. Just encouraging students to get involved in the newspaper and not only just writing, but there's editing positions, photography, everything, and they just encourage people to get involved in the paper. And I feel like that's the main thing that helps students get involved with journalism. Because I worked in the newspaper, I developed a relationship with East End Advertising who publishes our paper and puts it all together and stuff and I got an internship from them where I learned how to work more with like Adobe Photoshop and like InDesign and so that's helped me at St. John's around the PR chair so like I design a whole bunch of like flyers now and I've gone based off of like work I did for them and I've also like added like my writing skills like to it and I'm actually like in charge of like the newsletter for the whole university so like because I know what stories are most important, it helps me like narrow down what is relative to students and what they are going to be like engaged in and want to read. If you graduate college and want to go into journalism, the first question you're going to be asked is, were you involved with your campus publication? And let me see what you've done. If you don't have that portfolio, you're going to have all the people who do have that portfolio way ahead of you online. So. I can't stress the importance of getting involved. If you plan to go into journalism at any level, the experience you will gain here is invaluable. 
absolutely priceless. It's it's part of the tuition that you don't even know you're getting. It's just a, a priceless form of experience to get into journalism.